Okay, how you going today? So I thought I'd head on into town and have to go to the hardware and pick a few things up so I thought I'd take you guys along for a bit of a ride along the highway show you guys how the little DR200 handles the highway we'll get into town and get a bit of practice in amongst the traffic and see how we go the weather's a bit better today not quite good enough to get the detector out so something a bit different today just off for a little ride so stick with us and we'll get underway hardware in town and pick up a new set of Torx bits gonna need those to get the dash plate off the bottom of the bike we've got uh, another oil change coming up so I've just about finished running the bike in I've already done one oil change on it, oil filter so this morning I ordered a couple new oil filters and Still got plenty of oil, so give her another oil change this week. And what are we on? We're on 1300 kilometres we've done on her so far. So the book says 1600, she's pretty much finished her running. So with any luck we'll be able to open her up a bit more. Been taking her reasonably easy on her over the braking period. Now yeah, on the highway here the speed limits I'm in a 60 zone now because of the trucks. But speed limit is normally 100 kilometres an hour and the way the bike's geared stock it, yeah it can sit up on 100 kilometres an hour fairly comfortably it does rev a little bit hard um, that's to be expected I guess with the stock gearing so I might eventually look at changing out the front sprocket get a little bit more top end I generally sit on about 90 kilometres an hour on the highway it does that quite comfortably we've got 90 kilometres an hour now once I get a bit of traffic sitting behind me I'll occasionally bump it up and sit on 100 for a while at least until they overtake I don't have to do particularly long stretches out on the highway but coming into town here today is about 50 kilometre ride I'm in the town here, the little town we'll pass through, Scarsdale, a pretty tiny little town this one. Oop. Still can't quite get the hang of my rev matching. Got to get that into the muscle memory and been working on it but I reckon it's one of the harder things I've found to pick up oh, watch our speed coming through here 60k through the towns and all the cop cars these days you see quite a few of them on the highway they've all got the built-in speed laser camera things number plate readers the whole lot so they get you pretty quick. Being on the L plates, I 
don't have much leeway for things like speeding they jump all over me touch wood I haven't been picked up yet for any infractions and not on the bike at least The little torques bit. I've got some at home, and they're only, I've only got up to a T40, and the bash plate takes a T50. Of course, it does. You know, so so right, I'll get in, get the right size for it. I basically don't have a single mechanical bone in my body, so using the wrong size bit. Trying to get the bash plate off uh, probably wasn't the best of ideas and might as well get the right tool to do the job. I had a quick look online, one of the hardwares in town was sold out of them but the one on the other side of town supposedly has got some in stock so I'll take them at their word and go in and see what we can find. So this little town here is Smilesdale, another little gold rush town. Snake Valley down that way. Plenty of little gold mines and things out that way as well We haven't got too far to go now. Still got no traffic behind me, so we're just cruising the rest of the way. These are off a bit. Almost hit a kangaroo in the car coming through a month or two back. Silly bugger hop straight out in front. Get quite a few of them on this ride in. And then you'll often see them splattered all over the road. Generally only mornings and at dusk. But I have seen them during the middle of the day as well. The other thing you tend to see a lot of Particularly early in the mornings are uh, the bloody rabbits. Occasionally when I go out with the gold monster I'll leave fairly early in the morning. And there's one little spot I go through fairly regularly and the road will just be covered in rabbits. You just about have to come to a complete stop before they'll clear out your way. A lot of buggers would be a little in more inconsiderate and just plough through them. But I don't mind little rabbits, I'm not going to go running them over if I can avoid it. Certainly not going to hit a kangaroo if I can avoid it. And pretty big heavy buggers do a lot of damage. Right, so a couple more little crests on another bend or two and we'll start coming into Ballarat. Hopefully the wind noise hasn't been too bad for you guys. I 
road to get into town as often as I can when I'm living a fair way out of town so most of the riding I get to do is just on the highway and through the forests so I don't get a lot of practice riding in amongst the traffic um, and I definitely need to get as much of that as I can before my next little check ride exam and my final exam for my full licence so pretty much on top of you for riding in amongst the traffic and making sure you're keeping safe distance and head checks and all those sort of things I'll try and get in here from time to time as well nice little empty car park I've found where I can practice a lot of the little safety manoeuvres emergency braking and counter steering that sort of thing again they test all all that when you go for your check ride so got to get as much practice as that is in as I can a few new housing developments going up this side of Ballarat at the moment So that's the hardware over there that hasn't got them in stock so I'll have to go up over the other side of town that's all right gives you guys a something else to look at a bit of a ride through town something a bit different other than just all the riding out through the forests see how the little DR200 handles a bit more of an urban environment this is where uh, fuel efficiency really comes along We'll make these lights. Maybe. No, bugger. Always the case, isn't it? So close, no matter how far. Green. caught me out with a blind spot behind that other car Mercedes head check, got to make a turn up here never want to sit in front of a Merc driver if you can avoid it 
Smoke drivers and BMW drivers. Beware. Okay, oh, we might get green lights up here. We'll see, we'll see. That's what we like to see. Oh, we got here a heap of road work, so eh? 40. Quite often get speed cameras liking to sit in the little road work so zones. People aren't expecting them and get a decent old fine. Pretty easy to lose your license as well going through some of the construction zones. They drop down sort of 20k an hour below the speed zone and I think it's 25k an hour. Go over that and you've done your license for I think three months. See? BMW drivers, eh? Hardware's just up around the little bend here. Hopefully they've got what I'm looking for. Over here, right? Nice and easy. Yeah, I guess so. All right, I'll head on into the hardware and hopefully they've got everything I'm looking for. Oh, well, that was pretty good. I had everything I wanted. And now we'll head out. Now my sense of direction is absolutely atrocious. 
So I quite often get lost just coming into Ballarat here, in and around Ballarat. For some reason I just completely lose my sense of direction. But I'm pretty sure this heads, leads us down to the main street and head back up that way and back out of town. K zone, eh? Prepare to stop, that'd be right. More construction zones. Oh, I might get a clean run straight across here. Lovely. Head check. Jump over there. Bit of a head wind, close that boys a few guys. More construction, more construction. Well, the day fined up well, the blue scores come pretty good. Probably would have been a half decent day out there with the detector after all. Bit of wind about. Well, it's not too bad. Well, I might try and get back out with the detector tomorrow. See how I go. through that one and caught by this one. I think I can drive through this park here somewhere but I've never actually tried going through it so I don't really know. But it could make for a little interesting ride. we have a look? Oh, where can we get in? It doesn't say no entry there does it? So bugger it, we'll go in and see what we can do. See if there's a way in down here or not. I don't know. Bit of a skate park over there by the looks of it. There's cars in there, car park over there, but I'm buggered if I know how they get in there. Certainly not from here anyway. Now is that a way in there? That looks like a way in just here, doesn't it? Here we go. Runners cross here. Okay. So where will we go? Have a road leading up that way. Lots of parked cars up this way. Oh, we'll have a bit of a bit of a gander. I don't know if it's just a car park this yeah. way or 
this road continues up and around. Oh, there's a road there, is it? Oh yeah, we might be able to go up that way. Don't know if I'm really supposed to. Oh, it looks like a roadway to me. So why not, eh? As long as we don't run over any joggers. We should be right, I reckon. We'll go out off to the left there and see where that leads us to. Nice big park over in there on the left. Grass is looking a bit worse for wear though. I've got no idea what the speed zone in here would be either. I'm going to assume 50, but it might only be 40, I'm not too sure. Alright, oh, that was an interesting little squiz. This should lead us back out under the road. Okay, back on track. Alright guys, I'll probably leave it there for this little video. Seeing that they are have a bit of a run on the highway. Bit of an urban explore. And with any luck, next video I'll get that gold monster back out. Try and find us some gold, eh? Okay, take it easy. Cheers.